Hey everybody, it's Nerd Candy doing uh, comic reviews. It's New Comic Book Day. I uh, just picked these two comics up. Uh, this is part of a story that I've been reading starting in uh, Ghost Rider. But that is not the focus of this. Today is a very special day in comics. Uh, this is Action Comics number 1000. Um, I don't think, to anybody who knows comics, even on surface level, I really don't have to explain this very much. This was the comic book that Superman first appeared in. This particular co comic book is going to cost me... It's going to cost me a lot of money. It cost me eight bucks. Um, it, this is comprised of a bunch of different stories. And it's, it, the reason it's going to cost me a lot of money because this is going to cost me a lot of money because I'm going to get it um, drawn by an artist at a con. So i got to pay to get into a con. I gotta find an artist I like. I gotta pay the artist to do this. Um, then I have to get this protected and sealed and then framed. But someday, uh, probably within the next year, this is gonna look really good on my on my wall somewhere, in an office somewhere, uh, hypothetically speaking. But I went with this cover because I, I really do like to get my own covers drawn. Uh, it's expensive, but you get to pick the artist that you that you like and you get to pick the subject matter and the, and the pose and the things like that. And the artist just, generally I just let the artist give them a basic idea of what I want and just let them have at it. And artists being creative people that they are, I've never been disappointed with one of these. So getting into this, you know, actually, actually, you know, I'm gonna take a, a second to reflect. Um, there is, in the past month, we've had two major milestone issues. We had Cap number 700 and Action Comics number 1000. I've read them both, and I've seen reviews of them both. And the contrast in the two is very stark, and it's very telling of the culture of DC and Marvel right now. If you read Captain America 700 by Mark Wade, um, it's very much Mark Wade injecting his opinions, his political beliefs, into the book. I've never seen a milestone book be injected with the thoughts and the opinions and the political stance of any writer. And I've seen a lot in my time since the 80s collecting comic books. I've seen a lot of milestone comic books. I've never seen one like Cap 700 that had that much of the author of the, of the writer's personal feelings on politics injected into it. Where contrast this, this is a collection of, of a bunch of different stories. I kind of hesitate to, to open this. You know, I'm not going to give any of these stories away. This is a collection of stories by a lot of different artists and a lot of different writers. But every one of these celebrates Superman and different aspects of him. Um, but you see... A recurring theme in this at all in all of this Superman is his compassion and his belief in humanity shine through in all of these uh, I've, I've, I've never really bought a whole lot of Superman comic books because I've always thought of him as sort of a Mary Sue he's so powerful and he's so perfect and he's so invulnerable that it's really hard for him to, to struggle with anything. Um, that's part of the reason I've loved Marvel Comics so much more than DC, is because the characters in Marvel traditionally have a lot of things in their, in their own lives, in their own personality, flaws, that they have to overcome that make it interesting. Um, DC characters for a long time really didn't have flaws, and Superman doesn't really have flaws, personal flaws. But in reading this collection, I kind of realized that that's the beauty of Superman. He is probably, you know, he might be arguably the first superhero. Um, and he's probably, he's the most perfect of them. He's, he's the shining example. Uh, and in that is the flaw. That's where a lot of his enemies find his weakness, is in his compassion for humans, for Earth, things like that. Um, because the problem, part of the problem is because he is so strong and he is so impervious, uh, a lot of times in Superman stories, they have to resort to strange cosmic things to threaten him 
um, as in the the last story here, um, kind of reminds me of the Doomsday fight. But this is the fight where he's fighting some a cosmic entity who is just completely overpowered um, and is actually a threat to him. But that's always been the problem is is I, can, I can't relate to him because um, they have to go get these strange cosmic things and. I don't really understand a lot of them. Like, what, like who is it? What is, what is this guy? Where did he come from? What's his story? But, um, you know, now that I, I read this issue, I kind of get it a little more clearly, the appeal of Superman. Um, still not my favorite. I mean, there, I, I think there are better characters, but as far as a better hero, you'd be hard-pressed to say there's a better hero. Because he's always compassionate. You, there's one story in here about a guy who he, um, you know, everybody was kind of kissing Superman's butt in this in the speeches that they were giving at this thing honoring him. But uh, <clears throat> one of them was a kid who he kept busting. He kept arresting and getting thrown in jail. And the character even says that Superman wanted me to learn from my mistakes, wanted me to, to improve myself. And that was the... That's the beautiful thing about it is is the compassion that Superman shows. You know, Batman would have just eventually broken all of the guy's bones, and uh, the dude wouldn't be able to be employed by any supervillains because he would have trouble walking. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of my take on this. Um, this is a move the needle, of course. This is um, there are many many different uh, covers and artists that you can that you can get for this issue basically if you can't find a version of this cover that you'd like um you probably just don't like comic book art because there's tons of them out there uh i enjoyed it uh it's gonna cost me a lot of money but someday it's gonna look really good on my on my wall um yeah go move the needle with this one i don't want to take up too much more of your time and i'm definitely not going to spoil any of this but there's a really cool story at the end with that uh, cosmic entity that's kind of kicking his butt, and this is going to make me go by number 1001, because I want to see what that story's all about. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. Move the needle with this one. Uh, as always, you can reach me here. You can reach me on Twitter. Hit a like. Hit a subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.